Hi, I'm Joe from Webs Online, and today we're going to review the three top mistakes you want to avoid when building a pond. If you're in the process of building a new pond, uh, you're bound to make a few mistakes. Everyone does. Uh, I'm going to discuss three of the most common today, and hopefully shedding some light on these mistakes will help you avoid making them. Number one is location. Uh, oftentimes, pond owners have the idea of using an unused space on their property, uh, but those unused spaces are unused for a reason. Uh, you're never there, so that would be a complete waste. Uh, the second would be uh, runoff or a low spot. Uh, these areas collect water and pool, and your water quality will suffer as pollutants run in. Uh, and oftentimes in torrential rains, which I've actually seen, uh, water actually gets underneath the liner and actually lifts the liner up. So avoid making the mistake of putting it in a poor location. Number two is size. Uh, yes, a small pond is easier to construct. It's less labor, it's less expensive, but in actuality, smaller ponds are harder to maintain than larger ponds. And for the most part, pond owners down the road go bigger anyway. Uh, they love their feature. Their fish outgrew the pond, their plants outgrew the pond. So if you have the space, go big. Number three is a lack of ledges. Ledges will provide necessary shelves for plants, yes, but more often than not, a rock shelf is omitted. And a rock shelf is a shorter shelf above the plant shelf uh, that supports a depth of stone. And that rock shelf is there to hide the liner uh, when your water level fluctuates. Uh, so above all, uh, do research, be prepared, ask questions. We're always here. My name's Joe from Webs Online. Talk to you then. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. We want to make sure we're making the right videos. So don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms.